CSS positioning allows you to place elements on a page with pinpoint accuracy. Positioning is controlled by the position property, which currently supports four values. Absolute positions an element accurately at specified offsets. Fixed is similar to absolute, except that the offsets are always in relation to the browser viewport. Relative shifts the element relative to its normal position. Static disables CSS positioning, and you're unlikely ever to need to use it. Four properties specify the offsets for a positioned element. Top, left, right, and bottom. These properties tell the browser how far to offset the element on a particular side. Normally you set just one or two of these properties. Positioned elements can overlap each other, so you can also set the stacking order with the Z-index property. This expects a number. When two elements overlap, the one with the higher Z-index appears in front of the other. Let's see how all that works in practice. In my exercises site, I've opened examples of different types of positioning. You can find the same files in the Diving Deeper with CSS, CSS Positioning folder of the course assets. In Absolute HTML, I've got a single div which is absolutely positioned. Position Absolute, left 100 pixels, top 50 pixels. This style rule doesn't contain any margins, so the position of the element is determined purely and simply by CSS positioning. I'm going to disable left, and it's moved in. I'll add a property here, right, and set right to 100 pixels. And it's now moved across to the other side of the page and is now 50 pixels from the top and 100 pixels from the right. Let me just save that page and then view it in a browser. And you can see that it's still 50 pixels from the top, 100 pixels from the right. And if I resize the window, it remains in exactly the position that I said it should be. Let's take a look next at fixed.html. And if we go down to the bottom, you can see that I've got a banner here at the bottom. But if I turn on Live View, that banner comes to the top. And if I start scrolling the page, the banner stays in its fixed position and the text scrolls behind it. So let's look at the style rules for header. And it's position fixed, left zero pixels and top zero pixels. And if I open Split View and scroll down, you can see that the header is in fact at the bottom of the underlying HTML. And what has moved it up to the top is the fixed positioning. And we'll take a look at the content style rule. And I've had to put a margin top of 120 pixels on that content to be able to keep it below the fixed header. Now let's look at relative HTML. This paragraph with a yellow background has an ID of offset. If I open split view, you can see that it's in the normal part of the page. So it ends with eight hours of solid driving. You can see eight hours of solid driving. And then the beginning of the paragraph, fortunately the storm was short lived. So it's in its normal position. But if I look at the style rules, position is relative and left is minus 30 pixels. And if you look here, you can see that the beginning of the paragraph has disappeared because my document window is actually quite narrow. And if I move the horizontal scroll bar, I can't move it any further to the left. So this is a danger sometimes with positioning that your material can end up being inaccessible in the browser. Let's just return to design view and I'm going to add a property of top and set it to 100 pixels. And that paragraph has now moved down and it's covering the next paragraph. You can see that the other paragraphs have not moved. A relatively positioned element doesn't affect the position of elements that are around it. 
Now let's look at stacking HTML. I've got two images here, and they're both in absolutely positioned divs. So if I select half dome, you can see that the Z index has been set to one, and for bridal veil, the Z index has been set to two. So that's why half dome is behind bridal veil. But if I change half dome, say to 10, it now moves in front. So when elements overlap, the one with the higher Z index appears in front. Now what I'm going to do is to add some text to this page. So I'll just go to Yosemite text and select all of that, copy it, go back to stacking HTML, make sure that my insertion point is after the position divs, and I'll paste it. What has happened is that the text has gone behind the images. Let's just go into split view. All my text is after the images, but design view has shown it behind. And if we just save that and check it in a browser, a browser does exactly the same. And this illustrates a major problem with CSS positioning. The two images act as though they're painted on separate layers above the rest of the page. In fact, when Dreamweaver first introduced absolute positioning, it called them layers, and it's only in more recent versions that they've been renamed AP divs or AP elements, AP of course being short for absolutely positioned. And the relatively positioned paragraph and the fixed banner at the top work in exactly the same way. The browser treats them as separate elements. So the main problems that confront you when using CSS positioning are that positioned elements are removed from the normal flow of the document, and they don't interact with other elements. You can't flow text around a positioned element or give it a margin, because it's treated completely independently. The other point to bear in mind is what's known as the containing block of a positioned element. The containing block determines where the offsets are measured from. In the case of fixed positioning, it's always the browser viewport. With relative positioning, it's the element's position in the normal flow of the document. However, with absolute positioning, it's the page or the nearest positioned parent element, 